Hi, and welcome to this information session where we're going to explain about a uh, receivable conversion period. The receivable conversion period is the number of days trade receivables are outstanding, or the number of days it takes us to collect uh, trade receivables. And uh, there is a concept or uh, terminology called trade receivables turnover, which is the number of times trade receivables are collected. And uh, we can calculate this uh, uh, trade receivable turnover by taking the net credit sales, and notice it's just the credit sales, so we exclude the cash sales. So it's net credit sales divided by the average net receivables, and, ho and here also it's, it's the net receivables, so it's the receivables excluding allowance for doubtful accounts. So if I say that for a particular company the invent the receivables turnover is four, and uh, this means that this company collects the average receivables at any given time four times a year. So let's say that a company has $4 million in net sales or in, in, in credit sales and has a net receivable, average net receivables of $1 million, then their receivable turnover is $4 million divided by $1 million, which is 4. So this company collects the average account receivables four times a year. The uh, trade receivables turnover inverse is the average net receivables divided by the credit sales. And to calculate the receivables conversion period, we take the inventory inverse and we multiply it by the number of days in the year. So for our example, when the turnover inventory, the receivable turnover was four, then we take the inverse of four, which is a quarter, and we'll multiply it by 365 days a year. Then we'll come up with 90 days uh, as the uh, receivable collection period for this particular example. And um, also there is another thing that I'd like to talk about is the length of the operating cycle. Basically the length of the operating cycle is the inventory conversion period plus the receivable conversion period, which is the time it takes the company from the purchase of the inventory up to the point of collecting cash after, se after selling this inventory. So you can read the explanation uh, of uh, of what I talked about in the description of this video. Uh, in the next information session, we'll uh, explain the payables conversion period. So uh, hopefully you will enjoy it as well. Uh, thank you very much and uh, have a good day.